Hey everyone, this is the following on uh, building my gaming room and as you can see I've already start to tear down the wall and uh, remove my IKEA uh, Billy and packed all the game and console and everything to have this wall ready to be demolished. So we are end of March and um, yeah this the time is uh, still cold so I cannot uh, feel the the gap in the hole uh, on this side uh, go check the video uh, on the previous steps so yeah we are last uh, last week of March and I'm planning to uh, at least destroy this because I need to move the laminate floor I've planned to remove it but the thing is they start on the the previous owner start on the door uh, where the left space le, uh, going to the, the the lost space and finish on the other side so there's the, 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 the bathroom uh, behind uh, the shelf with all the uh, figure and they finish there so if I want to remove I need to remove from there and going uh, to this side so this is going to take a long time and uh, I have stuff to do before that here finishing the uh, subfloor before the thing is I still cannot open the window he uh, here in Canada because it is still cold outside about uh, 5 degrees celsius i need to remove this wall as clean as possible without the, uh, limiting the um, dust as much as possible as you can see i've already removed start to remove the screw so the way i'm doing it is finding the screw with a neodymium uh, magnet so as you can see there's one there because uh, the the sheet of drywall was put on a vertical side so I'm pretty sure there's a tape here so finding the screw so there's one there you can see then you can you can put a knife or um, a screwdriver here to find it and then I can use so I will remove all the screw and uh, when it's done I will have to cut the tape on the top and uh, on the corner and then the the drywall will just pop out and uh, yeah we should have this the structure after that by the magic of jump cut here uh, without the wall I couldn't remove uh, the drywall and the corner bead on the loading uh, beam here because they put um, MDF to cover the main uh, st uh, stud here and they put the MDF after putting the laminate floor so I cannot remove the laminate floor without removing the MDF the problem is I'm pretty sure they put like a lot of, uh, of nail uh, and this is going to be complicated to remove same thing with the drywall this is uh, this was put before the MDF, so I don't know. I don't know I'm going, how I'm going to to manage that. What I'm going to do eventually first is clean the space, putting the first small uh, piece of wood for the underline. On. Get two full sheets and a one to cut just for the bottom here. So. One here, one here, and a little more here. 
So yeah, before I need to uh, remove all the previous dry drywall and uh, maybe I'm going to start to make the structure wall at least assembling the uh, 2x3 to put the wall here but again of course I have this on the way yeah, I'm going to move a bit I still have this to uh, wait for better weather and I really don't want to put the structure before finishing that because if I put the structure here uh, this is going to be on the on the way to put the, um, the mortar and try to fill the gap so at least maybe assembly cutting the two by three and be ready and uh, put uh, the flooring at least the underlayment. So we finally have some few days uh, of good weather and with with reasonable temperature outside. So I will try to uh, fix the hole in the foundation. So yeah, let's open that and uh, let's see how I'm going to fill this gap. So what I've tried to do after removing everything is to put uh, just part of wood which will, which will uh, hold the mortar and I put some mark here to give me uh, the idea so the second mark on the left is where I'm supposed to finish uh, so I'm going I'm, we'll try to do that in two sessions uh try to do one today and the other tomorrow so tomorrow i should finish that so here we are i will try to uh can i yeah you can see i feel behind the wood part and the top i advance a little bit uh, they're really 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 a lot to feel I'm barely at the at the first mark I need to feel until the second mark here on your left and it is a sharpie mark uh, this is going to be complicated because I've nearly depleted the 11 lips of uh, murder so maybe I will have to do another trip to the store to finish that so yeah see you tomorrow for the next feeding so this is the end of day two As you can see we have barely advanced but I'm slightly more straight uh, on the back yeah as you can see we are halfway and uh, yeah you can see the bottom here we have some made some touch up is the part we done yesterday this is where we at right now tomorrow part three so we are end of day three of our murder you only remove the um, wood thing and uh, as you can see you can check the different layering I've done I've nearly nearly finished and uh, as you can see there's a sharpie uh, a sharpie mark this is where i'm supposed to be to be flush and i've nearly nearly finished but i already go through the second bag of mortar and uh, yeah i hope i will be able to finish tomorrow with the last um, small bag which is more uh, fixing small stuff and a surface and 
yeah and uh, hopefully tomorrow this will be uh, finally filled so i skip a step and this is the day after the last uh, filling as you can see the color of the mortar is slightly different uh, but yeah this is it we are uh, right at the sharpie mark I've made uh, yeah I should be able to finish that and eventually I should be able to make the wall so yeah let's do this so I finished to put everything inside this uh, reparation on the foundation and I've also finished the wall and this is the result with the uh, drywall so this one is done I've been mostly working on wiring and cleaning uh, the space uh, because I need now to work on the flooring so I pass all the network and we have to come up with a solution to go around the uh, loading bearing load bearing stud and remove all the drywall here in the corner I've start to remove the flooring here and I have to do all the rest of the this space and move everything to here temporarily so next is going to put the last pieces of um, wood here glue it uh, put some staple and then put all the um, flooring back here so yeah let's do this so the last part for the flooring the sub flooring is done and I start to remove the old uh, laminate floor remove the old um, uh, sound damping carpet and I have to move back everything here I know I'm supposed to wait until the walls are done and everything is done to do the flooring but uh, as you can see I still have some furniture I cannot move into another room so I need to put some flooring first move the furniture and then continue the renovation so I've nearly finished to remove all the previous uh, laminate flooring and start to move over there so the goal is to put a few um, a few planks and move the uh, TV which is the TV stand which is right now just an organizer for uh, my tools I think I'm going to do half of the gaming room with the flooring so I will have a half a room to put my stuff and have the other half to uh, make more mess like assembling the rest oh, sorry assembling the rest of this wall here and going all across the room so I uh, re uh, install the underlayment and start to put some laminate flooring and uh, already put some uh, furniture on top of it I have uh, the TV stand to put and send back and I should have half of the room left I will just roll the car the underlayment on the side so I, will, I could put the uh, wall on the side here so I will have to remove so I will have to remove the um, the drywall here and then uh, remove the door which will be either there or um, maybe here I don't know yet I will uh, see when uh, I will start to put the wall exactly when I'm going to put the doors so uh, I've been working 
uh, for uh, multiple days uh, since the last uh, capture EU capture. Um, so yeah, I finished to put um, the subflooring and alignment and uh, the uh, laminate flooring just to push everything on the on the back. I've received the panel lifter. Uh, start to assembling it. I've uh, finished the structure here. I removed the drywall here. I haven't removed the door yet, uh, but I, I, I can now. You will see uh, in a few seconds why. So the structure here is done. Structure here is done. And I hope I'm not moving too fast. This is where the PC was. It was a, a den. And here it is the entrance of the workshop, which is just a full pack with uh, furniture. You can barely move inside. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is going pretty well. Uh, so the next step, the next step will be to start to rip off the ceiling and uh, prepared for uh, the new wiring uh, because I've uh, found some stuff from the previous owner which uh, I'm pretty sure this is not <laughs> compliant with the code here. Uh, I've also, I'm sure there was some the, the something similar on the previous video but uh, I'm going to put some metal plates some metal plate here because this is the, the um, here this is the main uh, uh, supporting of the house so I don't want to drill anything inside so I uh, will use this other channel and protect it to put the network cable uh, I will also uh, so this is where my PC is right now and this is where uh, the main wall here will be with the entrance here I'm going to put uh, two small uh, 24 door 24 inches door so a total of uh, 48 uh, entrance that should be more than enough and uh, yeah I think uh, the next uh, Next uh, section of the video uh, will be once the sailing will be removed and uh, there will be the corner here just to help me uh, to uh, frame, start to framing here. I will do the, the last part here. Uh, last because I'm scared like uh, the, the drywall which are going to come from this uh, this is the, the stairs to uh, to the main floor uh, I will have to push that so once I will have somehow a corner here I will push the the TV and the, and the, and the PC uh, desk and have the clearance to bring the uh, 22 8 feet uh, drywall ah, this is going to be fun uh, as you can see there's no ceiling anymore I've stripped down everything and I start to double the uh, to, uh, and I start to sister the joist I still have all those one to do I finished the corner here this is the base the heater baseboard don't pay attention uh, to remove it uh, those one are not fixed I just fixed the uh, top plate and the bottom plate here and it's just for measurement to see if uh, the opening here for the double French door is going to work and uh, yeah I had to uh, put some Eurofoam on the top here and remove the old insulation insulation I'm not sure if this is the correct term so it was some uh, rock sole uh, and uh, no vapor barrier uh, so yeah I had to uh, remove some wire it's not not everything is done 
as you can see there's uh, some wire here to do but cannot progress until I finish to uh, sister all the joists so yeah some progress and uh, we are uh, this uh, June June the 7th and uh, tomorrow I should get the uh, drywall but uh, not ready for install yet I still have this part of uh, the ceiling to remove but this is where my PC is uh, so I need to put everything upstairs and remove absolutely everything so I can continue I still have also a small wall behind that to finish and uh, yeah after that uh, maybe I will have to remove that just temporary to have some space so I can we can bring uh, from the stairs the drywall so the structure for the um, wall and the double French door is done. Most of the electricity and network is done. Uh, I found some kinks. Uh, I must have pinched uh, some wire while uh, putting the structure. So I may have to test the cable before putting in the wall and uh, not touching it. I don't want to run everything and see at the end that uh, I have some run not working because I won't have access to anything still have the door to remove this is going to be on the very last structure I'm going to do because I still need to access uh, to uh, the the shop thanks to some friend uh, this is a 500 inch, 508 inches drywall uh, 25 sheets uh, they are freaking heavy uh, so thanks to my friend we were able to bring them back the sun insulation this is just pink stuff uh, this is going to do uh, right uh, this is going to be just right for what i'm doing this is not for uh, thermal uh, insulation and yeah all the joists are being sisters uh, was uh, not very really easy especially this one and i have one uh, i think it's uh, this one yeah this is this one I have to move up for uh, I think it's uh, two centimeters which is pretty uh, pretty high so now I have to remove this ceiling because I still have some wire uh, I need to uh, remove um, before uh, doubling the, the sister the joist here and uh, some structure here and uh, behind to do and after that I should be ready to start putting the drywall actually I can start to do this side oh. uh, sorry light thanks oh, this side of the room like uh, a third on the on the right uh, I don't have any more stuff to run and uh, a bunch of the back could be also done but I really want to finish all the structure and uh, also this is like really messy remove the ceilings and I still don't know what I'm going to find progress so far we are 20th of June I'm way behind schedule what is going to be complicated to film this is late uh, late in the evening late in the night even so I've started to put some drywall the problem is uh, even if you can see I have put all the insulation everywhere uh, I cannot I don't have any strength uh, to, to put the drywall on the panel lifter uh, this is way too heavy for me I can put I will try to check oh, this is good. oh it's too dark it's too dark but if you can see I put just half of uh, of a uh, sheet uh, which is uh, okay to lift I put the other half and a long and uh, a full one here still have to cut the um, the outlet uh, to finish to fix it so as long it's not on, on uh, in height um, I'm I'm okay it's 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 really heavy but I'm okay 
uh, but yeah to I don't have any I don't have much room to lift the panel so I cannot put them uh, on uh, on the drywall uh, lift uh, like that so yeah this one is done too this side so everything which is half a drywall no problem but uh, <sighs> there, uh, aside from that I test all the electricity which is working fine and uh, the network I right now I put everything on the on the workshop and uh, I will have to sort uh, them later for now it was uh, getting ready for the drywall but I will need the help uh, from friends to just help me helping me uh, put them on the on the drywall on the, on the drywall lifter and uh, and then it should go fast but uh, yeah I'm like uh, five day behind schedule this is <laughs> this is going to be complicated so the drywall are in and it was not really easy I got a lot of uh, problem I will I need to fix start to put some uh, electric plug and switches I've already started to cut the uh, hole for the spots I still have the ceiling speaker to do my mud is ready so I will try at least to do the horizontal uh, gap horizontal uh, joint today and I still have the I don't know transition room I don't know how to call it, but the, the room uh, outside the gaming room to finish to cut the door is not going to be that small I, I still have to uh, trim the excess of drywall and I still have the ceiling but I really want to start the drywall the join today we are at the uh, 24 25 today not remember 24 uh, and uh, we, I, I really need to to advance on that especially the ceiling so I try to uh, uh, put some foam on the really large gap not to uh, it's just to have to some back when I'm going to put the uh, mud and not have the like a lot of mud and take uh, how, uh, days to to dry I'm in a basement and uh, put some kills at uh, where the paper uh, it's not secure it's a bin uh, b-i-n uh, from zinza on the uh, uh, tear down uh, paper so yes you have to do that and uh, so you have to remove the uh, the drywall sheet i'm not going to use but i think i'm done think uh, i'm going just to put them uh, on the back uh, um, on the on the small and now corridor to the uh, to the workshop so yeah let's do this so it's day two well technically it's day four of the drywall uh, I still have the um, ceiling to send it's really horrible but I had to finish first the ceiling on the room next to the stairs and we got lights so they are right now the spots are not uh, installed properly I just wanted to test uh, the electricity uh, which is working fine I've also test all the uh, electric plug everything is working fine too so now I will be able to uh, remove all the tools I don't need and uh, cleaning everything, um, sanding the ceiling and once I finish to sand the ceiling I shouldn't have any uh, AV work uh, so I will finish to install the laminate flooring and remove as much as dust as possible Next is going to be uh, the other pass of mud, light sanding, so hopefully not much of uh, sand dust. And then painting, I'm five to six days behind schedule, but uh, 
starting to think I'm uh, finally seeing the end of this. So uh, I keep forgetting to register the progress, but I really need to get this project done. So yeah, the first quarter of primer is done and I'll actually I've already put two of them on the ceiling. The thing is I still have some issue uh, like um, uh, some uh, joints which are which were correct visually and uh, even uh, and when you touch it and uh, now as you can see some of them just pop it off right off after getting uh, the primer so I don't know how I'm going to uh, handle that uh, aside from that uh, yeah the progress is uh, not as fast as I need, but uh, yeah, this is going to be complicated to uh, to finish in the in the next two days. So I don't know. So we are uh, the July the six. Uh, technically, we are the seven because it's midnight. I've just finished to paint the ceilings. There's a lot of problem. A lot of uh, paper tattoo bubble at painting. It was not there when I uh, finished the, um, the primer. The ceiling is finished somehow. Uh, so tomorrow I will have to explain my family which is coming to visit me. Uh, they will have to sleep with the boxes a little bit until I finish uh, this room. So hopefully I should be able to start painting the wall. So yeah, I think I will just uh, cut when the painting is done because I still have like one color for this wall, one color for this one, uh, two pass, two pa second pass, second pass, third pass eventually because this is a dark color. Uh, so yeah, we'll just cut. I need to focus on the, on the painting, so we'll just cut on the end result and uh, the, um, I will do the reveal with uh, the furniture on, a, on, a, on, a, on another video. So we are on the 12th of July and all the painting is done. I just finished to pose the trim a few hours ago. I put all the plate on the electrical plug and uh, switches I still have the network to do and I consider the room finished so yeah I will need now to put all the furniture and next video will be the uh, reveal so yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon.